<sighs> what a beautiful day. Just enjoying the sun and the, uh, what, what? The what? Oh. Yeah, well, uh. Hey, uh, what? It's an, uh. It's an elevator. Oh. <laughs> hey! Yeah, alright. I dig this. I dig this. Uh, hey! That's pretty neat. I wanted to do that. Google here with Wise Studio with another Gmod tutorial. It's been a while since I've posted a Gmod tutorial, but this is something I really love to build, and a lot of people ask me how to build it. And instead of just showing them each individual, I'm just gonna make a video so that everyone can learn because it's really fun to do. And we're gonna make a really functioning elevator, and it's gonna work super great. Anyone can do it, I promise you, it's not hard. So we're just gonna go over to GM Construct, we're just gonna double click here, and we're gonna start up. We're gonna wait for everything to load. Everything is loading, 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 and here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, boom, here we go, so here we are in GM Construct, and we're just gonna slap up an elevator somewhere, you guys can choose wherever, it doesn't have to be the same place I use, you guys should definitely try to make this as customized as possible to your own preference to make it like you know not mine so please feel free to change props settings speed color materials anything uh, you could build it over here on that building that building here there over here wherever just your own choice and so I'm gonna build it right here for my own convenience and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I personally am going to use the elevator model, but anyone can use any item. You can use a barrel if you wanted to, just any any item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and search. I'm going to search L I F T lift, and I'm going to click the little magnifying glass. Wait, no results. Uh, oh, oh, I clicked it again. Oh, there we go. If I keep clicking, more results show up. Anyways, that's probably going to happen for you too. The point, my point with that was. The more you click this, it's, it's every time you click this, it refreshes. And it, it has to go through all the props, so it's not just going to have them all immediately. It, it's searching through them all. And so you have to refresh it multiple times to get all the props you want up. So now I got this. I'm just going to line it up flush here to make it look all nice and pretty. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to elevate it just slightly. Like that. And that'll be pretty clear as to why. The tool we're going to use to actually make it move up and down is called the hydraulic over here in the constraints category. And I'm just going to click on it and we've got all of our settings over here. Now what the hydraulic does is it expands and contracts on demand as it says right here. <laughs> I didn't make that up, just says it right there reading it. and. It, it, it's going to move whatever props it has to in order to make it move. Now the world isn't going anywhere, so the only option is the elevator to move. So we're going to make the hydraulic. Uh, we're going to set the settings. So first the toggle key. We're going to click here, press a key. Uh, I'm going to use the up arrow because we're moving upwards. We're going to set the distance. The distance can be anything. I don't know the distance. There's no way to tell. I'm just going to set it to a random distance and then we're going to change it after that for the speed I'm just gonna crank that bad boy all the way up and the width uh, for now I'm just gonna leave that as zero and then I'm gonna want to make sure this uh, fixed box right here is checked that's important you want that checked so now then uh, you have a couple of options you can either click the object and then here and then that places it but I don't want to use those hydraulics but instead I'm going to right click which just sends it perpendicular to whichever object at whatever angle you have it on. So what we're going to do is we're going to look under this elevator and we're going to right click. It just shot up the hydraulic straight up into this elevator. You can't see it because I set the width to zero, but it's there. 
So now, whenever I try to move this prop, I can't move it anywhere but on this fixed position that I just set the hydraulic on because it's now perpendicular to the world. And so now we can begin. If we press the up arrow, that's what we set what we set it to, then it'll move up. All right, so that is where 295 whatever distances we used, that's where it got us. So that's this length right here is about 295 whatever unit. We're just going to say 295 units. And if I press it again, it'll move back down. Now, that's not enough, so in order to change it, we're going to have to press Z, remove the hydraulic, and then try again. So now let's try 350. So I just typed in 350. I'm going to go under hydro under here, right click once more, unfreeze it, and then I'm going to press up. Now if you notice the first time you press it, it doesn't move. That's because it's contracting the first time. The second time you press it, it begins to expand. So now it's expanding, expanding, expanding. And now it's expanded. Now we're getting really close. Let's just add another, I don't know, let's say 25. We'll try 375. And we'll see how close that gets us. Undo that last hydraulic. And place a new one. Unfreeze it. And then now we can try again. There she goes. I'm going to zoom in here. Oh, uh, that's close enough to me. It doesn't have to be exact. This is Gmod we're talking about after all. So we're going to move it back down. Now, the problem is if you're playing on an online server, let's say Sandbox or Dark RP, Dark RP especially is really fun, uh, then you're the only one that can move it. So what we're going to do is we're going to give other people the ability to use it. So we're going to use buttons like a normal elevator. So we're going to go down here to Construction, click Button, and now the key to simulate that's the same key we just set it to. So we're going to have to click here. And then whatever key you just set it to, set the same box to that key. As you see, it's moving because I just pressed up arrow to set this. I'm going to press up arrow again to move it back down. Now, you can choose whichever button model you want. You can choose any of them. I'm just going to use this one just because I like it. It's a nice shape. I'm just going to go to eye level here and just place one down. Now if I walk up to this button, and press it, it moves it. I'm going to bring it back down. And if I go in here, then as you can see, well, I'm moving a little bit, but we will ignore that for now. That's not particularly important at the moment. But I need a button inside to get us moving inside. So I'm just going to place one there, walk in, and press it. Now I begin to move. Now this is pretty fun. Wonderful view, buildings here and there. And uh, now that I'm here, I'm just going to go, uh, oh, right, I uh, need something to walk out onto. So let's just slap up a little something, something. Uh, I'm going to go down here to my general tab, where I've got basic blocks. And I'm just going to spawn in, let's say, a plate 2x4. And we're going to wheel it up there, whoop, whoop, whoop. And we're going to press Shift-E, or Sprint and Use, we're going to press Shift E to lock it into the nearest 45 degree angle so it's totally flat. So like I could have it like this and then I lock it in and then I freeze it. So I don't need it exact, I can't really see it from down here. So we're going to go up there and instead set it from up there and make it nice and pretty up there because I'll be a lot closer. Boop, 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 boop. Let's go, go, go. Oh! Oh. Well, that was interesting. And now would be a good time to note, Gmod physics are very buggy. They aren't necessarily meant to lift players like this. So because of that, you need to be weary on killing people. This will definitely kill a lot of players if it's not used properly. Especially try to go one at a time. That's an important note. You want to keep it one at a time because two players will seriously get really buggy and all I am is aligning this right here just gonna 
line this up. That's pretty close. I can walk on and off and uh, can press this button. We begin to move down, press it again, back up, and here we go. So now we got a little platform, but now if we're up, if the elevator is, ooh, if the elevator is down there and we're up here, how are we gonna get it up? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build, we're gonna slap down something to put a button on. We're gonna use this prop, the cube 25 by 125 by 25. And we're going to just shift E and then put it down, freeze it. And we're going to take it on another button, one last button, and then put it here. We're going to press it. As you can see, it's bringing it up. So now, as you see, we have a functioning elevator. It is fully functioning. There's buttons on each side. But now it's just not very aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't look too nice. It's uh, totally breaking some uh, realism blahs. It doesn't look realistic at all. It's just a floating elevator. So let's fix this, make it look nice and pretty, uh, pimp it out, you know, pimp my elevator. So let's begin by going up here. And let's just try a little, a little barrier to prevent people from falling. So we're just going to take this over here. We're going to disable collisions on it. We're going to press C, right click, uh, and then disable the collisions on this prop. And now I can put it through the prop. We're going to shift E, and then we're going to line this up. And that's pretty good. Now we're going to re-enable collisions so that we can't walk through it. That was just to make sure it's nice and pretty lined up. Disable collisions. Bring it over here. I'm gonna, gonna shift E. Shift E, shift E, shift E. I shift E a lot. And we're gonna re-enable collisions. And then one last time for this last wall over here. Disable collisions. Bring it over here. Line it up. Alrighty, let's move it down a little bit and enable. So now we've got a little barrier. So let's bring the party back down. And now as you can see, we got our shadow down here and our props up there. Just looks like that elevator. And now we're gonna add some stuff down here to make it look nice and pretty. We're just gonna add now what I'm going to do here, you'll see you, you'll see what it looks like, and you're going to love it if you haven't already seen it. I probably used the same clip in the intro, so uh, you'll probably already know what I'm doing here and what I'm striving for. But I'm just going to place a few. I'm, I'm just basing this off the little shadows here. Just lining it up with these shadows, nothing uh, too fancy. If you have the stacker tool, this is especially a good time to use the stacker tool. But since I don't want to use any special tools, just the default tools, I'm just going to do this. All right, so now I've got a bunch of these. Now, now I'm going to take out some rope. I'm going to go and choose this rope because that's what I want it to look like. And I'm going to add a width. Let's try three is the magic number. So, oh, ah, three is the magic number. Now we're all set the width to three, and you know we'll just slap some rope on here. It, well, I mean that works, but I mean it's not really particularly pretty. So let's add some length. Let's try fifty. Let's try that. Not much. Curvature still, so let's try a hundred. There's a little bit. Let's try on a 110. Just add a little bit more. That's really low, so let's try 105 and see what that gets us. And remember, you can set it to whatever you want it to look like. 
But I like the look of that right around there. That's about some pretty decent hoopage. So we're just gonna add that to all of these. And here we are. Right, so now we've got our little entrance here. You can walk through it, but that's not the point. It's just, it looks pretty. So now we got a little entrance, but we still have a floating elevator. So let's go on and fix that. Let's go up here and fix it so it doesn't look like it's just floating. So to do that, we're gonna go down here to slider here in our tools, slider. And let's add some width. Let's say three again. Three is the magic number. Let's send this bad boy back down, and as it's going down, I'm just going to walk on it. Alright, so I've got my slider out. This slider is not particularly for any functional usage at this point. It's just to look pretty, like I said. And we're going to go ahead in the center here, the center where the dots line up. And if it'll stop moving, i got to freeze it. There we go. We're just going to go in the center here and right click. Just shot up a little rope straight up. And we're going to unfreeze this. And now if we send it up, it looks like the rope's actually pulling it. And it's not just a floating elevator anymore. You can do it on the bottom if you want. You can do it any... Alright, I did mention earlier about the Gmod physics thing. Uh, it's a good thing I gave you guys a heads up. Alrighty. Once more... You know, let's see if we can't fix this problem a bit. Let's just click keep up, right? No? No? Alright. This is, uh, depressing. Ugh. Yeah, okay, let's undo this lighter that we just added there. And let's try it one more time. We will, here, I will just take this, move it up a little. We'll try this on the bottom instead and see if that gets us any different results. Alright, that works a lot better actually. So we'll, we'll stick with that for now. Now what I did earlier is I went to the context menu. I looked at it. Uh, <laughs> oh. I looked at it and then I right clicked and click keep upright so it doesn't flop all over the place on us. But we'll leave it like that for now. As for the buttons, I don't really want collisions on them so we can uh, just leave it like that. I don't know what that was, I was just testing it to see uh, <laughs> what that would do. It didn't do anything so. I guess I shouldn't worry about it. Alright, so... Uh, as for the whole slider thing, that's up to you. If you can get it to not kill you, that'd be great. You can always add rope, which would be all baggy at some point. Perhaps even elastic, or simply just add width to the hydraulic. It's all up to you. Uh, I'm just going to leave it floating for now because otherwise I'll get killed. So, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna, so I did disabled collisions on that, but as you can tell, all the materials are still the plain blank materials that I've been using. And let's uh, stylize this a bit. Let's go to the material and let's select the material we've got this very first one right here, this is a very popular choice because it's gold. I'm not personally a fan of it too much. This one down here is a pretty popular choice. It's kind of hidden down here. But it's there. Um, you can try the invisible look. You can try a bit more of a religious look. You know, all hail half-life. I'm going to do bricks. Uh, my personal favorite. In fact, I'll stick with this for now. And then I'll add these. Here we go. That looks pretty nice. A little bit of a fleshy ride. 
And then we'll just add our last few touches over here. Just to give it a bit more of a modern look. Yeah, I like this. I like this, yeah. This is uh, looking pretty good. But it's what's a party without lights? Alright, well let's add some lights. Wow, that was bright. I have everything all the way up. That's probably why. Let's turn the brightness down. Let's keep it on red. Hmm. Let's turn the brightness down a bit more. That seems pretty decent. Let's disable the collisions on that. There we go. That's just not going to be smacking me in the face. Anyways, so here we have our little elevator. Fully functioning now. Fully working. Nice little added touches. Our ropes. Our landing. And everything's looking nice. Now, if you guys liked my tutorial, I would love a like, subscribe, and... Uh, I don't understand why people would say comment unless you really have something to say. So comment if you have something to say. If you don't have anything to say, don't bother commenting. But like and subscribe would definitely be fantastic if you want to. I'm not going to force anything on you. But you, uh, you can really show the love. Check out some of my other videos because I'm <laughs> trying to, you know, get views. <clears throat> wink, wink. Nudge, nudge, tell a friend. Uh, but, you know, it's it's whatever. So, I, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped. You know, you can brag to your friends. And, uh, see you next time.